good afternoon welcome back to the channel and hope you're all keeping well so now is a really good time we've just seen in the last couple of days the launch of the brand new bailey gt75 pegasus range and not too long ago the phoenix range so we thought this would be a really good time to give you a full six month review of our bailey pegasus grande se green dc uh, it's a warts and all review so it's going to be quite in depth and will be quite a long video i would imagine but we're going to start at the front and literally look at everything we like everything we don't like and even some of the things that we are probably going to change because of what we've seen in other caravans and in other models so let's start at the very front and we'll work our way around and then to the inside so let's go and have a look right starting at the front rather dirty i think bit of sahara sand got on it while we're in the storage yard so uh but just while we are i just want to thank the staff here at uh, the wardens at our storage yard and at uh, durham grange caravan and motor home club site who've allowed us to pull the caravan out somewhere rather nice uh, so i can get all the way around it and show you this lovely caravan in the best light right we'll start with the front that window is just fantastic any of the bailey range that window no matter what anybody says is fantastic but if you're going to get a cover get a tall cover or or something that's going to go the full height of the window uh, because there's nothing like getting to sight and having a line three quarters of the way up where the bottom three quarters is lovely and clean and the top quarter is covered in flies just a thought right we start with the main head we've got the alco atc eight foot wide caravan can't go wrong you just cannot go wrong the eight foot wide for anyone who's got a normal caravan or thinking of starting with a new caravan don't be put off by the eight foot wide caravan a normal caravan roughly seven foot two seven foot four so if you think you're only looking at five inches either side it's not a massive difference but the difference in towing because of the wider stance on the road is night and day and it does make a massive difference and it makes them a dream to tow with so this eight foot wide caravan is well worth considering uh, it is only on a single axle so it is a little bit shorter inside right let's move to the side gas barbecue point fitted as standard absolutely brilliant through storage locker this storage locker although it's small on this side is large on the other side and it runs all the way through so if you've got anything rather long i know some people like if they're on fully serviced pitches to actually have a proper length of drain pipe rather than using flexes so you've got an ideal storage solution there with the through locker uh, tinted windows what we don't like up at the top the marker lights we really do wish they were at the back just for purposes of putting the awning on uh it's it's just, it just makes it a two-man job rather than a one-man job pulling the awning through it's just a bit difficult by yourself uh, nice over the door awning light there and of course you've got the split door with the uh, blind and the bin um, you know very nice very usable very practical especially if you've got dogs you know it's nice to be able to split that door uh, the only downside is because you've got the bin you can't have the fly net shut and or the fly net shut with the bottom of the door shut as well because it clouts uh we've got nice alloy wheel there and of course that takes the AT, the alco wheel lock we don't we use the nemesis because it's just much easier when you're on ramps to, to, to just pull it up and get level and concentrate on being level rather than worrying about lining the the lock up so we think the nemesis lock is a lot better but another great thing the spare wheel is underslung so you're not taking room under your bed or anywhere else in your caravan the wheel is under the frame of the caravan it's out of the way absolutely perfect ideal solution uh, next to that we have the wheel this is the main inlet and we've got the external socket which are uh, which are both you know uh, 
useful but we would prefer the inlet to be in that position on the opposite side of the caravan it's just a bit of a pain having the mains running through the awning just one of them things um, it's not a deal breaker for us uh, but it, it would be nicer if it was on the service side behind that we've got the locker that's under the bed the bed inside is four foot six four foot seven i believe so there's loads of storage under the bed graphic silver sides it's just lovely isn't it barely have really when they brought out the se the upgrade from the original uh, pegasus grande yeah they, they just got it right except for i said when we first got this caravan would it grow me no it still looks big and white and big and white and a bit like the back end of a truck maybe could do an update i think uh karina from here we told when she did her review sort of said that could do we an upgrade and be more like the uh, ali canto uh, get rid of that black make it look nicer yeah such is life uh, it is what it is coming round to the service side right we've got the toilet set at the bottom because we've got the rear bathroom and the fill i still can't understand why on some caravans they put the fill straight off the water and some they put a tank in I'd, i really do believe you know that we should be having mains water fill now that will come straight off the aqua roll or if you're fully serviced straight straight into the uh into the caravan one of them things again uh, we don't use the pink uh, we don't use the flush fluid we just use plain water so it would have been much better off the water system for me yeah it is what it is right moving down the caravan window which is in the bedroom and then we've got the outlet for the waste and uh, the sink and shower down at the bottom there next to the wheel nice alloy wheel motor mover uh, and the gas locker box gas locker box will take two six six kilo bottles no problems at all um we've got two in there yep it is what it is nice for storing your amps and that in there there's loads of room then we've got the Truma blown air central heating um, and I actually think this is probably the best heating system we've had in a caravan to date uh, it's not that really dry heat for some reason that you seem to get with the blown air system and I think it's because of the way the pipe works run that rather than getting so much of the blow you're actually getting some radiant heat as well but I'll show you that when we get inside right next up we've got the whale uh, slide input and like I said with the small locker on the other side it's larger on this side uh, so you can put more on here but it does run all the way through and then we're back round to the Alco hitch and stabiliser at the front so all in all you've got to agree it's a nice nice looking caravan with that grey sides and the, and the lovely graphics although I do like the new GT75 graphics but what I don't like is the fact on the Brindisi they've lost your window but right let's leave that for now and we'll take a look inside but before but before we do take a look inside I just want to tell you a bit about the weights and measures on this uh, we upgraded this to a 1600 kilogram which gives us 100 and odd kilo as a uh, payload and we think that is about right i think because you've got the solar on top uh you a motor mover uh you may be carrying you know a little bit of weight in the back and some stuff in the front that the upgrade to 1600 kilos is well worth doing right let's take a wonder inside right just to take a minute out 
and say thank you very much for all of you that have subscribed liked commented shared and engaged with the channel we really do appreciate it and it's without you we wouldn't be where we are today so thank you very much uh, for all the support that you've given us also you may be aware or you will probably be aware of this year that our channel has been sponsored by cover for caravans a link will be in the description below so if you're in the market for caravan insurance looking for a quote thinking about changing your caravan thinking about buying a new caravan then please do check out their website give them a call have a chat and uh, I'm sure that cover for caravans will treat you exactly the way as they've treated us and we really are proud of being one of their customers so thanks very much let's get back to the video Okey dokes right let me move to the back of the caravan because this is where things get really really interesting with the changes to the new Pegasus in DC as you can see we've got the G-shaped lounge and with the skylights open I've no lights on in here at all it is a nice sunny day you can see it's light it's airy it's bright it's it's a lovely lovely place to be uh, and of course we're in the corners we've got Ali's uh, Highland cow and it wouldn't be right to not have Bailey Bear sat in the corner starting at the top and working our way down we've got the two cupboards at the top uh, and they are slightly angled but they're not so far out that they would make a difference if you were sat there that you'd stand up and bang your head on them they do come out and you know that's that's part and parcel of the design but in the new one you get a shelf i think instead so would you prefer a shelf or a cupboard we prefer the cupboards got things to store in there it comes with the three lights i think when we ordered the caravan only one of them had a usb socket we had the second one upgraded but the third one isn't so we've got the two usb sockets in the lights at the front just suits us charging phones things like that uh next is the uh the if you like the, the surface where you sit the seating uh because it's got the g-shaped lounge it's just handy to have that little breakfast table it is a lovely little space you know just to sit and have a cup of coffee in the morning uh or evening and evening for ali to put a books and things like that it's an it is a nice little space the cushions because they're actually curved and wrap around and one piece are just i don't know ideal ideal it feels like you're sitting on on a settee at home you've got that support uh, and you've got that comfort lovely lovely idea that they've done with the with the pegasus wrap round seating i think in the gt75 that's been removed and it's not wrap round anymore but uh, th that's progress uh, again we've got the curtains uh, the new gt75 doesn't have that uh, one thing that is that does bug me and it bugs me all the time is there's just a little join between the cupboard and the window on both sides and because there's no trim on it it's the only joins in the caravan because it's the way in which it's built with this Alutec construction there's no joins in any of the panels at all and that is the only join and for some reason uh, I notice it every time I get in the caravan and it just bugs me but that's one of, them, one of them things right in the G down at the bottom we have a small foot locker below and on the opposite side we have a plug socket now as you can see there also at the front we have the small locker uh, so you can get into the front that's where you pull out to make the bed and we've also underneath got another locker to get into the side uh, we're not on this side because this is where you've got the uh, the water boiler and blown air unit and all the rest of it um, so that's the front essentially of the caravan let's turn round to the middle okie dokes 
right on this side we have got the smaller fridge and freezer we don't think it's a problem we have packed for a week uh, with that fridge and freezer and not had a problem um, I suppose it's each to their own some people really do like the taller fridge freezer we think it makes the space more airy uh, and it still allows for us to have a shelf for a TV looking at our shelf though the maximum size TV you can get on there and we've got the uh, equivalent to the Avtex 27 inch and that's the max you'll get on there it's just the space you've got whereas the new gt75 brin dc because you don't have that window you can get a 32 inch tv on it personal preference i guess but uh, there we are right around the side we have the plug sockets and the 12 volt socket and lights switch there so you can run a 12 volt tv and of course that's where we have ours above is the russell hobbs microwave and again this is the one that doesn't have the shelf so another great addition above we've got a small cupboard in there we store all our stuff and you've got the mppt controller for the solar panel which is 100 watt and is on top all the controls are up there uh, i personally think they're in they're in a nice spot up at the top uh, and again we're having the voltmeter right at the very top it means the switches are slightly lower down which means even little legs like Ali can reach them to turn the lights on so there we are and of course we've got the fly screen on the door right downsides of having this big wide light airy caravan is when it gets to the night time yes we do have and i'll just pull this out so you can see you've got the concertina blind that you can pull across but if you don't use that the microwave's plugged in and on this is the display that may well as be full beam on your car at night when all the lights are off that the light on that is as bright as it comes needless to say the russell hobbs microwave for us is a bread bin uh, we we very rarely use it and we only plug it in when we do use it because that light at night is awful as has been said by more vloggers than i care to remember the dometic fridge the control unit again the lights on that just shine and because we've got this lovely reflective surface on the opposite side it's it's one of them things that does does make a difference right just bear with us while i fasten that back up okie doke staying in the kitchen area we do have the nice tap and sink with the bowl and the and the drainer to be fair i don't know who invented the drainers uh, these are like well yeah i think we have it in here so it's in here uh we never use it just don't we have a bowl that we that we put on the t that we put on the side and put the stuff in and then we dry stuff up and put it away that's hopeless but anyway right draw let's uh open that and there you've got your utensil drawer for all your stuff and of course soft clothes very very nice okay nice cupboard underneath double cupboard and of course you can put plenty of stuff in there and you've got all the gas valves for at the side what you've also got is because that's that little bit deeper because you have got the gas locker at the back so your gas supply your bottles are literally right behind the back of your sink next to that we've got the setford cooker and of course it's three burner plus one electric and then we've got the toasty bit at the top and the oven at the bottom and a little bit of storage we can actually get a three pan steamer and a couple of pans in that cupboard at the bottom so it's it's not a a wasted space right what would we do around here 
and things we have spoke about and and things we're like we're likely to do is once we're out of warranty we know this is an ideal wall to be sticking some usb charging points under and we certainly will be doing that and i'm actually quite surprised because of the extra room you've got there that there isn't at least two usb charging points there you know now with people this is a four birth caravan so you're thinking uh expect with a couple of usbs in but that is the ideal place to be charging tablets mobile uh, mobile phones and uh and laptops uh, so that is definitely a place where uh, we will be sticking uh, some usb sockets once we come out of warranty but of course we're only six months in so we've got a little bit of a wait yet uh, right moving into the bedroom and this has also been mentioned nice size cupboards and they are a nice size on both sides you know you can easily get 10 t-shirts in there the upper lockers unfortunately don't have shelves we use plastic trays uh, you know uh, these are not soft clothes but they do stay short and we've not had anything come out nice shelf in the middle that's where Ali keeps a little throws and we've got the big you know nice transverse island bed covered at the other side down at the bottom on this side is slightly different i'll just try and shift that down because this cupboard is essentially a shelf plus the consumer unit and fuses uh, the only thing that i i don't like about this is first of all it does when you get the caravan it doesn't come with a fuse puller a little black tiny fuse puller that costs less than 99p uh it doesn't come with one and it should just and and maybe even a couple of ways or or a little bag of spare fuses would be you know just a little bit of uh, uh customer service let's put it that way and above of course we've got the the normal trip switches that everything's labeled and sorted there but it does mean you've not got that much space in there uh just the, just the shelf at the top of course you've got a little bit more room on the other side but the cupboard and uh, wardrobe are just a tiny little bit narrower but again it is a cupboard there is no drawers in this caravan and that's been mentioned a lot of times it hasn't bothered us because we are quite happy to use you know the t sort of baskets and things that uh, that you can get in the in the pound shops and you know ikea dunelm wherever uh it, it hasn't bothered us at all that we haven't got any drawers but for some people that might be a consideration right things i forgot in the kitchen we do have two sockets the light switches and the truma uh, inet system there which gives you the blown air heating and the combi boiler uh, this, the combi boiler is fantastic the water is maybe a little bit too hot and could be reduced a little bit in temperature which would have been would be nice for us but it's not a, is that again not a deal breaker because you mix it with cold uh, it's the only thing that's gone wrong in this caravan in six months is the uh, is the trim and it was the control unit and our dealer Roper's caravans at Catrick were absolutely fantastic in that they we literally dropped it off and two days later they rung us up and said oh by the way we'll put you put your new control panel on come and get your caravan and it was that easy right staying back in the bedroom as you can see i'll just move the gimbal down at the floor you can see a full length grate and i think this is why you don't have that problem with uh the dryness that you get is because you get so much radiant heat from that long length of pipe and the grill uh, and it just helps it gets the temperature to the caravan to temperature very quickly and it's it's like having a little radiator there 
uh, and the pipe obviously runs into the bathroom so you you get the bathroom nice and warm as well staying in the bedroom i'll move over to the side a little bit and we've got the mirror there on the bed uh, we've got another place for you know i'm moving the gimbal the wrong way around move it up so there again we've got the plug the 12 volt and the uh, light switches again that's an ideal place for additional usb sockets uh, and i can see us putting a c-line usb socket in that panel as well as because we've got this little cupboard underneath that we fill with junk this is an ideal spot to uh, as they have i don't know if you've seen the gt75 on the phoenix and the and the pegasus but both of them on have the media center with the pop-up wireless charger and i think that is an ideal spot to drill a hole and stick a wireless charger in which is what we will probably do to give us two extra usbs and a wireless charger two usbs on the top which means we can charge all our camera equipment phones at night uh, anything we want just about everything now seems to run off usb in one way form or another uh, to, so that's the that's a quick look up the caravan and it's absolutely fantastic we lo absolutely love it to bits the lighting again is very very light if you put all the lights on at night it really is like being in the stadium right let's turn back around and i won't be doing a handrew ditton a loo in the mirror but what i will be talking to you about is that door it seems like any other ordinary bathroom door and it sticks back and it's great and it has a nice lock at the top and all the rest of it but it also has a lovely rattle now it, you know them little things you'd get that you put on the bottom of uh, chair legs <laughs> the little cushion things the round sticky it's at the bottom where it's just it's on a runner and of course you get a little bit of wind and the caravan moves or anything like that and in the night uh, that does rattle it's it's just one of them things you're on you're on standard small steadies you're eight foot wide you've got a great big side of a caravan if that's into the wind that door will rattle so that's the solution to that is stick a couple of little uh, furry pads on the bottom right let's go into the bathroom now this i might have to i will have to bear with a second let's go back to some power on dun, dun, dun. Uh, power on and some lights on <laughs> right lights on in the bathroom he says this mirror is just massive ali ali loves it to bits the sink is small uh but like she says it's a brushing your teeth sink it's not a sink for anything else other than brushing your teeth the good thing is it we it does have a lovely shower unit in which is more than you know suitable for uh for ali to get in every single day wash her hair do whatever she wants we, you know we use the shower all the time it is a bit of a pain that there isn't any uh way of sort of hanging your or having shelves for your stuff but it's not a deal breaker you know we get by it we will take stuff in the shower tend to put it on the floor and then we come out it goes stuff goes on the shelves you can see she's got the towels down there at the bottom uh, and we're you know we're in storage nice that's, that's a nice little unit as well uh just storing things like towels and toilet rolls so it's not a it's not too bad that for toilet as always i'm just going to open this i'm hoping nothing's going to drop out because i've not uh, done anything right this is the the sort of unit it's not very deep it's only the depth of a toilet roll but it's deep enough to store just about everything and there you are she's got a all the 
cleaning stuff and a shower stuff and a medical stuff and a midgy stuff fly spray toilet rolls you name it everything goes in there so that is not an unusable little cupboard you know three inch deep and two foot tall it's uh it's absolutely cracking right what else have i got to say about this caravan the answer is not a lot Right, let's just put you down on there and see where that's pointing to. Probably to the sky. Just run it down a bit. Where are we at now? We are moving down, aren't we? Right, I'm just going to sit myself down here. So there we are. That's our six month review of our Pegasus Grande SE Brindisi. Uh, we've moved, as lots of you know, we moved to this from the Eldis Avanti 454. Uh, and the reason we got the 454 was the transfer siren bed and the L-shaped lounge. And the reason we bought this caravan was because of the transfer siren bed and the G-shaped lounge. And we actually think we made the perfect decision to to change to this caravan and we think we'll have it for a very very long time um, because we, as far as value for money goes you know we're, we're talking under thirty thousand pound and what caravans can you get in an eight foot range now for under thirty thousand pound and what are you getting as far as value for money is concerned as well are you getting a caravan that's got the solar on top are you getting a caravan that that has everything you need in probably the right sort of place and and only you know that when you're buying it for us this is this is perfect and and that basically leaves us to say you know other than you know the little bits that we that i've mentioned that we're not over keen on and i've just thought of one extra one and that's the fact the battery is one of these slimline batteries that's under the bed and then under the floor um, you know it's it's not ideal it's not perfect but what it is is it allows us to have very practical holidays in a lovely you know spacious airy uh, contemporary feeling caravan so there are still you know 2023 uh, Pegasus Grande SE Brindisi's out there on the forecourt if you're thinking uh, maybe that there may be some deals available because uh, the new GT 75 has just been released and if uh, if, if you are looking for something like this, it is a really, really nice caravan. Right, that's it. So all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching. We really do appreciate it. Uh, and uh, you take care, stay safe, and we will catch up with you in the next one. Ta-da!